Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for another amazing adventure of the Almighty Bruce. And that's my dog right there. We're actually currently, I'm not sure if you're able to see it, we're actually currently on my bike and I've got a recumbent. I've got the roamer leash wrapped around my waist and underneath my butt to shorten it down just a little bit. I decided to try taking the dog out for a bike ride slash run today. I haven't been able to run since the 25th and today is the 7th. So I've been kind of laid up after my surgery and he's been kind of building up a lot of extra pent up energy. Let's see here. Bruce, left. Come on, left, left, left. Good boy. Good, good boy. That right there is one of the things I worked on while running with my dog was rights and lefts. When running, he usually was ahead of me and it has came in to be unmeasurably good for this also. So now I'm taking left and right hand corners. I'm able to command him to turn that way. It's not always perfect. Sometimes he takes a little wide and runs in the bike a couple times. At the very, very beginning, I really should have set up a camera like on a long pole or something and tried to film this. Or maybe got somebody else to come out with us and film it. So it was really interesting. He tried pulling me for a while. He was, I actually just let off the um, pedals and just kind of let him tug me by the um, strap. And he actually seemed to enjoy that. He's running along about a seven minute pace there for a while. And that wore him out pretty quick. And I think also he just, he kept trying to cut in front of me and it was kind of dangerous. So I shortened the leash up. I pulled him back here beside me. I'm trying to keep him on my right side all the time because that's away from traffic. But the problem with that is, is that he hates the um, culverts and he gets scared of those. We have a little issues there, but we're working through it. He's doing great. We're about five and a half miles, not quite, but 5.31 miles, I guess, into it so far. And we've been doing great. Been averaging about a nine minute pace, doing awesome with it. I'm just pedaling along here, second gear, front sprocket, first, second gear, back sprocket, and just putting along. The biggest thing I'm having trouble is I'm having to ride the brakes, keep going slow down the hills. I don't want to wear him out anymore. I need to, because he hasn't been running that much either. He's been playing some off and on, but hasn't really been out actually running. So I'm taking it super slow with him. Um, basically, we've ran faster than this at longer distances, than this, even on foot. But it's one of these mental things. I'm wanting to let him make sure he relaxes real good. He's, his heel command is not perfect, but it's doing real well. And there's been a couple times we'll go to turn a corner and he'll be turning right and he'll like decide to go straight at last minute and he run to the bike. And I haven't actually fallen yet, but I've come really damn close to it a few times. And it's a little dangerous, especially with my toes the way they are. I'm really concerned about getting them injured and banged up if something would happen. He also keeps trying to cross over behind me to the rear. Oh, nice so, thank you. Is that a great name? Yep, with a bit of boxer mixed in. But anyway, that was some kids at a park here, so. Um, went ahead and he keeps trying to cross her behind me. So I think I'm going to build a mechanism maybe that maybe sticks out to the right a little farther, a little harder, um, more like a rod to hold him in place better in the process. So, but as right now, I'm super stoked, super excited about it. Um, I never thought as crazy and psycho as he was about wanting to chase deer and squirrel and stuff and other pets and other animals and other kids that I would really have much luck with him. But we're doing phenomenal. He's absolutely doing amazing. And it's going to be the best thing for him until I can get back to running, which I still got another almost, I don't know, 18 days left or so before I get back to running. So hopefully we'll get much better at this bike riding thing and we'll be able to do this. Right, 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 right. Good boy, good, good boy. Anyway, that's all I got for now. We're going to cross the main highway. I got a mower. I don't know if you can hear me anyway. So have yourself a safe, wonderful day. If you ever get a chance, get out there and rescue a dog, I suggest you do it. And never be afraid to try new things like taking your dog for a bike ride. Have a good one.